Hey, welcome back to the channel. Just out for a little bike ride, for a little spin on this beautiful sunny afternoon with my daughter. Get some exercise, some fresh air. There she is in the background trying to keep up with Dad. So I just got back from a weekend with the uh, the dads and all the dad bods. We had a strength competition and it was good. Uh, it really tested me, but glad to be back. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get into it today. This is not a dream. we're back and we're jumping right back into part two of cringy scenarios for parents and uh, we're gonna look at three cringy scenarios and what would you do let's jump into number one your kids class performance is at the very end of the school's infamous Christmas holiday show do you so number one do you show up from the start and support all the classes. Number two, do you show up in the middle of the performance for just some of the performers? Or do you do the dad thing? Do you show up at the very end and just watch your own kid perform and save yourself some suffering? All right, gonna be as candid as possible here. So here's what I would do. I would do number, number three. Your first grader's friend comes over to play a lot but he also calls for you to wipe their butt when they use the bathroom. Do you? So number one, do you wipe the kid's butt and keep it to yourself? I know, very uncomfortable. Number two, do you have a strange and awkward conversation with the kid's parents explaining that their kid needed some help in the bathroom? Or, to wah, do you tell the kid they can't use the bathroom when they're over ever again. All right, like when I think about this scenario and, and these three responses, like I'm going with number three. There's no doubt. I, as a parent, have a reputation to uphold. I don't want that kid to tell their parents that I wiped their butt, especially if I did a very poor job and there's like skid marks in their underwear. You know what I mean? I mean, this one is super cringy. You want to, you pick a scenario, but you're like, I don't ever want to be put in this position ever. It's just too weird. Yeah, I, I can't comprehend it. It's just too much. You know, anyways, I don't want, I don't want my, I don't want my brain damaged thinking about it. So I'm just going to move on. So let's move on. Let's move on to number three, the final one in this part two. Your in-laws are on the way over to watch the kids while you go to a work event. Suddenly, you get a call saying the event is canceled. Do you? Ha 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 ha. And all of us parents are just chopping at the bit because we all know what we would do, right? Come on, we do. We know what we do right here. Totally know. So, number one, you call up your in-laws and say, thanks for offering the help tonight, but we're not going out. The event is canceled. Number two... Do you pretend the event is still on and you go out anyway for some much needed kid free time? Or number three, do you order some food in and have dinner with your in-laws? You know guys, you know, number two is the answer in this scenario. Are you kidding me? I have an evening with my wife staring at me in the face? kid-free, quiet time for both of us? And do you think that I'm going to cancel this evening and just throw away an opportunity to have a date night with no kids? I'm totally pretending that the event is still on and I'm taking my wife out for some kid-free time, some entertainment, and some time alone. The fact of the matter is, guys, again, we make decisions that are always, always are in the best interest of either our kids or ourselves. No brainer, right? Anyways, let me know. Drop it in the comments. In each of these scenarios, interact with me again. 
Let me know, which one would you choose in each scenario? I want to know. Don't forget to, uh, you know, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. So you're notified when I drop a new video. I want to go live. But until next week, when we jump into part three, stay safe, stay focused, and I'll catch you on the flippity. What do you think of parents infringing their scenarios? Huh? No comment? Mm, sometimes I like to know what's going on in that head of yours.